All right, guys. Um, this is the second time I'm recording this video. I'm coming at you from a new location. This is like the back extra add-on of my house. Um, I tried to record this video earlier on my phone. Um, and it stopped recording after 15 minutes. So I gave a reading and like I opened my eyes and it was not recording and that was annoying. So then I was on the struggle bus of trying to figure out how to do these with my sound limitations, <laughs> my issues with sound. So I have three kids um, and my house, the house I'm living in is a hundred years old. And the room that I normally do all my work in is in the attic and it has a very loud air conditioner. And that is not conducive to any microphone um, at all. And so I have to roast <laughs> if I wanna record these videos, especially if we're going into summer. And um, yeah. <laughs> and then um, I couldn't record it on my phone, which has a little bit better sound than my computer, I think, um, because it was like not recording the full thing. And then I looked into streaming and potentially doing live. I might just do these live, honestly. I might just do go live and do live videos um, because um, from what I understand, you can just stream live from your phone and I can hook up my microphone to that. Um, and then I don't have to deal with the slowness of my computer, uploading the video, um, all of that. I feel like I'm too old. <laughs> like when I first started YouTube, it was so different like five years ago. And now I feel like I'm so old <laughs> to be learning this um, and how to do it. But we're gonna figure it out together, okay? Because I wanna do these videos and I just have to figure out how to do it and set it up so that it's not least annoying to me and least annoying to you. So we're back in this room with like kids games and like art stuff and homeschool stuff and like craft projects back here. Um, and the reason we are is because um, it's relatively quiet and by relatively, you may hear a dog barking, <laughs> my neighbor's dog, um, and you may hear children in the background, but you know, this is life and we're not, I don't have a recording studio yet to, to bring these to you. So we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna, we're gonna learn it together. We're gonna learn it together. And um, what we have talked about, and this has nothing to do with the reading, so just bear with me. <laughs> Than about to do. Um, what we have talked about is potentially I have a I have a basement that's very unfinished, but it's like by a very unfinished I mean it like floods and it's like a hundred year old house basement. Yeah, I live in an urban area also, um, so you'll you'll hear that. <laughs> you'll hear noises from an urban area, and I have kids. Um, okay, so we've thought about doing set re redoing the basement and like getting a table down there um and making a backdrop of something so you can't see <laughs> see the dirt walls um because it is cool down there and it's quiet down there um and i could potentially record down there so we'll see we'll figure it out together because i want to be able to do this but the sound of the air conditioner and the microphone is way too loud um and i also don't have a lot of spaces where kids are not so you know, these are not ideal times. <laughs> and I'm different than everyone else and that I, you know, I have limitations to things and we still gotta, we still gotta put our light out there, right? Okay, so I already pulled these cards and the deck that I'm working with is the Earth Magical deck because I love it. It's my favorite um, Oracle deck. Hang on, we got something on the screen my favorite oracle deck right now. I actually like oracle decks over tarot decks because I um, find that the, I get kind of stuck up on the rigidity rigidity of the meaning of some of the tarot cards sometimes. And I like, the way that I like to read is I like to look at the cards for like almost prompts for the messages to, for the spirits to give me messages to through them. Um, and so I like the open-endedness of oracle cards more, meaning that like I don't have to read the book really when I'm looking at this picture. Um, because the messages will start to come in from spirit. Okay, so let's get into the space to bring through a message. Thanks for listening to me ramble about stuff <laughs> for four minutes before we started with the reading. Um, okay, one other thing I wanted to add is I just did a um, healing where 
we did a false light healing. We were removing the false light matrix, which looked like a webbing. Um, and that can is like specifically targeting light workers and healers. Um, and so if you feel like you've been impacted by that, like a channel or somebody um, you've been impacted by this matrix, this web, this dark web, um, that might be a good option for you. What we did was we removed the web and then we, um, we, we as in me and spirit, um, helped install like a crystalline type structure for protection from future potential infiltrations from the web. Um, it's about a 30 minute healing and it's $11. <laughs> um, and if you want to experience like a healing from me before you purchase, um, I'll put in the links below, there's a link that says free shamanic healing. Um, and that's if you sign up for my newsletter, I send you an email with a free um, shamanic journey healing that um, you can listen to first. But it's $11 and it's like spirit wants me to make these healings, these specific shamanic journeys for specific things that people can just purchase um, because what happens is is like people have very similar issues <laughs> that come up and um, there's like very there's like specific ways that we can kind of capture not capture but like um, the same sort of healing techniques can be used for lots of people um, for very specific things um, and so that's gonna be the first one of that that false light healing and I'll put a link to that below if you're interested in that it's eleven dollars um, okay so let's start the reading if you are listening just take a minute to disconnect from the collective close your eyes call your energy back as you're calling your energy back you're breathing in, breathing your energy back in, and then down through your belly, and then down through your roots, and then down into the earth. All right, so I'm gonna put this deck down because I already pulled the cards. <laughs> I already pulled the cards when I did this reading before. <laughs> And um, I don't need to hold the cards anymore. <sighs> okay, so the first card that I pulled was this new moon card. And these kind of go together. So there's a new moon card and then this ocean card. And the new moon card is, let's see if it'll focus. Come on. Can we do it? No? Yes? promise new moon and then the next card that came with it after it was this ocean ebb and flow okay so what the spirit was showing me with these two cards was um which is something that they've talked about in the last reading that we did with the eclipse um is this new is this new beginnings period this time of new beginnings but it's not like a casual new beginning like it's not um how do i put this like a you're going to start a new diet <laughs> or you're going to start a new craft project or you're going to start like something like a small step. Like it's not a new beginnings because a lot of times new moons is like, yeah, we're ushering in new beginnings. Like you're going to start new things. New moons are great times for starting new projects. It's not that sort of new beginning. Um, it's like a more like it's a more complete or like a more total or more. I want to say like destructive new beginning um, and why I say destructive is because with the image that they show me with this ocean and, and the image that they show me with this new moon card is an image of like a table that well there's two images so the first image that they're showing me is one that's like somebody has like a surface like a table surface um, that's covered in stuff and then like a kind of a hand comes and like swipes it all clean so the table's totally empty and so that everything that was there and everything that was on the table is like now off the table and gone and so it's almost like this period of I want to say the image what they're showing me in the image is like a shock like it feels like shock like like a stunned feeling of like someone was standing there looking at the table and the table got totally swiped off and um the feeling that's there is kind of like being stunned like like disbelief in that this happened um it feels destructive like in sudden and destructive okay and i keep they keep giving me this word destructive and i don't want to say it like oh it's scary and like 
the reason I don't want to say it because it sounds like it's bad, um, but it's like it, it this new beginning feels like a destructive one, like one that has like a lot of um, like it has destroyed something. Something has been destroyed or something has fallen apart. And the other image that they're showing me with that is with this ocean ebb and flow card. The, ignore this part where it feels like, oh, it's gentle ebb and flow of life. What they're showing me is that it's like a high tide period where somebody had like built a sand castle or something and the tide comes in and like completely comes in and like wipes away this like epic sand castle that somebody had built. And it's like, it's like completely wiped it clean. Sorry, my kids are like, I think it's creeping in the, in the kitchen. Um, it's like somebody has completely wiped it clean or like, uh, like it's erased. Like whatever was there, like on the shore of the beach is like completely erased. Like it's completely gone. Like the ocean has taken it in and like wiped it out. And what they're showing me is that it's not done yet. So like if we think about the ocean in terms of high tide and low tide, where like a low tide is like a calmer, like the waves are out, like you're like kind of meandering and wandering and things feel more relaxed. We're like in a time where like the hot, the, the tide is high and it's like slamming into the, the like retaining walls and it's like wiping things off the beach and it's like windy and it's like it's this very like it's the ocean in the form of like being I don't say being destructive but it's like um the same way fire would be destructive but like in the ocean form like it's like um in the form of like how it can use its power for like complete and total cleansing and complete and total like destruction of something that's there and like coming in and like completely wiping it away so what they're showing me is that this period that whoever this message is for is in is this like it's a new beginning but it's like a complete and total like wiping of a slate um and this i mean of course it has this nice message of like a promise of a new star and look looking out both of them have water energy um of these images have water energy and these people are looking out to the future for like um for a new start for a new beginning and um but what they're showing me is that it's just it is like a complete like erasure like i'm getting that it's like an erasure of something that existed and um was built and was established for a period of time what else it's like destruction it's destruction of something that wasn't established or built for a period of time and and what is being like the whoever it is that's on looking and whoever it is that their thing was destroyed is like stunned is the image that they're showing me is they're like shocked like like almost like unable to act or unable to move because they're processing like the total destruction that has just like come in and wiped out what they thought and what was there and like what they had built so what is happening right now is whoever this message is for is in this this period of like their thing was destroyed <laughs> or their whatever they were working on whatever you were had built whatever you were in was like erased um and wiped out and like starting from zero kind of situation like starting over situation why is that happening why is that happening let's ask why is that happening so, okay, we got it. There's destruction and things are being released and destroyed, but why? Why is that happening? The first card that we're pulling is this harmony card for things to come into harmony. I don't know why is it not focusing. This is, this is, we're gonna see if it will. Will you? Will you? No. Maybe? Yes. There you go. You can see it. It's harmony music. And then the next card is this volcano, which is volatility. So why is that? What are they, what are you telling me?
it's feeling like things are being scrapped like like a back to the drawing board but like things almost like things are being scrapped because the changes that like needed to be made weren't going to be made unless they happened like in a very sudden way because they what needed to be undone and what needed to be changed needed to um like disrupt like an a a large part portion of life and of like where you were comfortable it's what I'm getting is that the changes that needed to happen weren't going to happen because they were like so embedded or and so like deeply rooted in the way that you were operating the way that you were doing things the way that you were living that there wasn't going to be like a complete disruption or change unless it was like totally ripped out there's something like a plant that has like very deep roots like a dandelion or something um that has like these very deep tap roots and that that plant isn't going to die unless it's like completely dug up and ripped out and so what's happening isn't a punishment or is isn't like spirit is punishing you or universe is punishing you or whoever your divine beings are are punishing you that's not what's happening it's what's happening is is like in order for you to have more harmony in your life and to have more like almost like to reset you on the path that will bring you the things that you're desiring that it needed to happen in like a very like jarring and violent and sudden way violent like violent in terms of like abrupt it's like it's like they're showing me an image of like somebody needing to be like almost like shaken out of it And so what they're saying right now is that 2022 was this big transition year for a lot of people um, where things that were like working and things that like almost like routines that people were in um, and have slowly started to kind of like shift away from or change the last couple of years, 2022 is like the year for this pivotal time where those changes are being made the necessary changes for the coming a couple of years are being made in this year is what they're saying so it's like it's like 2022 is the year of these like huge changes to be happening so that you can almost be like reset and realign and, and like put in this like um almost like this like pivoted you're pivoted into this next phase of your journey in 2022 and in order for that to happen for a lot of people not everybody but for a lot of people there needed to be like some massive abrupt like in like deep changes that they're making like it wasn't a time anymore like it's almost what they're saying is is and what i'm getting is that they're like you had made all the minor changes you could have made right um where like you had like adjusted your energy you had like changed your diet you had like started exercising maybe you had made like all the like lifestyle and minor and like wardrobe and purging and cleansing and like all the like little adjustments that you could have made um in your life you had already made them is what spirit is saying and like you had already like you had already done the work you had already done the healing you had already done the meditating you had already done the the personal inner work you had already done um it's like you had had a checklist of like here's all the ways that i know about that i can change my circumstances and like i know that like yes we're in the in the right time at the right space and that there's that the where we are right now is exactly where we need to be but you also know that as a spiritual person that you're like wanting to make incremental changes so that you are um shifting outcomes and kind of realigning yourself every day and so what spirit's showing to me is that it's like there was a list 
and there were check marks that were like, okay, I can, I can make this dietary change. I can make this physical change. I can make this change in my space where I'm like cleaning and like getting rid of things and purging things and, and, and releasing things and letting things go. I'm like adopting this self-care practice and this self-care practice and this practice. And I'm making these little change, I'm making gratitude lists. I'm doing these, all the known things that you had in your toolkit of what you needed to be doing and what you knew that you could do to like self-improve and um, become more aligned and become um, more of your soul's true essence to express here all those things that you had already done and what they're showing me is that it's like all those things were checked off the list and the next step was like the hardest one and the hardest changes that needed to be made that you hadn't made yet like the biggest changes that needed to be made that you hadn't made yet and why hadn't you made them yet because they were the scariest because they were the biggest because they required probably more finances than you felt like you had um because they required you to like completely change the path likely the past several years of your life and the way that you had grown and built and developed and kind of built your sand castle out of right so if they're showing us the sand castle image you had like built your sand castle on a particular surface over six years over ten years over nine years whatever over a significant period of time and all of the things that easy things the easier things the more things in your reach that you could have done and and um, were doing had already been done and so what needed to be done next was were the things that were more um, we're going to profoundly change the foundation of your sand castle and would ultimately require that sand castle to be completely dismantled so that you could build a new one. And those changes were the ones that you were more resistant to make or just didn't have like the ability to conceptualize like how to make them and how to go forward like at that time. And so the stage that we're at now for a lot of people is the stage where like you had already done all the small little things and then now was the time of like complete like wiping out of the sandcastle, being uprooted and like f like completely starting over. That was like the next step in the journey. And so there wasn't really an avoiding of this part of the journey. It was like you had done all the things. Actually, you'd done all the things that had led you to this point in the journey. And so you were at a point where like, okay, the next thing that I need to do is jump over this cliff. That's what they're showing me, an image of like somebody who's standing at the edge of like a ravine. And there's like this narrow bridge that goes across, um, but it's very wobbly. And like, it's almost like, I had done, you had done all the things that had led you to that edge. And the next step forward was like a total leap of faith. It was like a total leap, like a total jump. And for a lot of people, that jump across was like essentially a total departure from what was happening prior. And so this huge point of uncertainty where a lot of people are at, it's what they're telling me is that you had done all the work that had almost led you to the point where like you had the next step for you was like a complete change of scenery, of environment, of what you had been doing and how you had been doing things. Okay, so how long does this last? This transition period and getting settled on the other side feels like it's a couple of months maybe six months six months to a year what can we do during that time the lighting changed in here i was doing that they're showing me this image of nurturing in the earth and working with the earth and then this other image, this autumnal, autumnal, autumnal <laughs> equinox. This is when it feels that things start to get settled and feel a little less chaotic. It feels like there's more where it's like a period of um, like almost like trust, like entering into a period of trust and trusting like of you, you being supported 
being supported in this in this phase and like what they're showing me an image of is like of somebody who's like leaping across like this ravine and you're landing on the earth and so it's this period of time of trusting that you're supported by the earth itself it's like it's this message of like almost remembering that you're being supported by the earth herself and all and the people here the trees the plants the energy and remembering of this remembering that you have this support and relying on that relying on that remembrance that like almost if you you get stripped away of all the other things that make up your physical reality you will you still have the support of the earth And this, yeah, this this autumn picture, that's when it feels like things start to get more, like, things start to, uh, how to put this, like, um, settle or um, calm down. <laughs> the volatility calms down. I don't know that the things are, like, totally fixed and worked out and, like, everything's better by then, but it feels like there's more of, like, like like the image that they're showing me is you're like as you're jumping over and like starting to set up on the other side of this cliff that um it's like into the autumn where things start to kind of come in and you start to kind of like make a space for yourself um that's more permanent all right that's all <laughs> we're gonna thank our spirit guides and spirit for that message i have um if you're in the moon circle i have a group we're doing a group healing i believe on sunday if you're not yet i'll put the link below for that if you're interested in our group healing group, group container otherwise that's it and um, thank you for watching. Bye.